Hi, I'm Bickle. Some of you know me as The Bomb. Today I want to review a great book for teaching or learning critical thinking. A book perhaps even better than subscribing to Bickle's The Bomb. It's called Asking the Right Questions. The one I have is the ninth edition. Uh, written by M. Neil Brown, Stuart M. Keeley. It's from Pearson Publications, a great education publisher. <clears throat> I first encountered this book uh, while earning a postgrad certificate in reading, reading and learning from Cal State Fullerton about 10 years ago. And I have since used it for uh, teaching, uh, teaching, uh, writing, uh, writing assignments predominantly, mostly in China, a little bit in India. <laughs> this book is organized in chapters that will help students uh, understand their academic readings as well as develop better writing. And each uh, chapter has uh, exercises at the end to reinforce it. So you see there's a couple chapters there. Uh, the first one is benefit of asking the right questions. Critical thinking as a social activity. What are the issue and the conclusion? Right? What are the reasons? What words or phrases are ambiguous? So these first few exercises are helping students notice the elements of arguments in the essays that they read and they can apply them to the essays they write. It moves on to describe value assumptions, you know, the values of the of the authors that we're reading and we're, we're responding to. <laughs> uh, gets a bit into fallacies, logical fallacies. A chapter on evidence. Actually, there are a couple chapters on evidence. Uh, how good is the evidence, right? A couple of extensive chapters on that. Um, explorations of causes and effects and uh, guiding students through uh, investigating what the real causes are of things. A little bit about deceptive statistics, not a whole lot on statistics. Um, <clears throat> this is just kind of an introduction to critical thinking. Uh, and statistics can be quite complicated, but it's a great idea to get some basic statistics in there to understand biasing and, and uh, you know, the different types of averages, the mean, the mode, the median, and how they can be used to deceive, and uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, my favorite chapter, I've marked it here, is chapter 12, what significant information is omitted? So many times information is omitted from what we read or what we hear, and that's really the stuff we should be thinking about. <coughs> uh, after thinking about things, maybe what, what reasonable conclusions are possible. You know, once we've really worked or worked through something, uh, can we come up with reasonable conclusions in this unreasonable world? Um, and then overcoming obstacles to critical thinking, right? Mental habits, wishful thinking, things that get in our way. Um, you know, quite often you'll see little things like critical questions, <laughs> what information is omitted. You know, every now and then they, they throw in questions to get you to think. Uh, they throw in examples of writing, uh, paragraphs and small essays, uh, articles, things to kind of uh, help reinforce and help students notice uh, critical thinking in their, in their writing. So <clears throat> I highly recommend this book. Uh, whatever version you can get, um, is probably worthwhile whether it's after ninth edition or before you'll probably find some good stuff in here for teaching and learning critical thinking this is Bickle I hope you've enjoyed this review peace